Bristlebot robot is a small robot that is made, up, made using the head of a toothbrush, small vibrating motor, button battery, and a pipe cleaner. Before we start building, let's go over some of the supplies we will need. You'll need the head of a toothbrush with a piece of double-sided tape on it, one button cell battery, one small vibrating motor, two pieces of pipe cleaner about three inches in length, and a set of googly eyes or eye stickers or any other fun decorations for your robot. Now that we know what we need for our Bristlebot robot, Mark and Jeff, would you guys like to help us build one? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now that we've got our supplies, let's start building our Bristlebot. Pull off the protective strip of, on the tape. Next, attach the motor to the sticky tape by putting one end of the motor without the wires near the part of the toothbrush where the handle is cut off. Then place one of the wires on the tape and keep the other wire in the air. Do not push the wire into the tape. It's important that the end of the wire can still touch the battery later. Now attach the button cell battery to the double-sided tape, negative side down. Make sure the battery contacts the wire that is on the tape already. Attach the feet by placing the pipe cleaner on the toothbrush between the motor and the battery. You can bend the pipe cleaners down around the head of the toothbrush. These feet will help make the robot more stable. You can then attach the googly eye stickers or any other decorations to the toothbrush. Time to start up your robot. Bend the motor wire that is in the air and not attached to the tape and push it between the pipe cleaner and the battery. Make sure the end of the wire touches the button battery. Your robot should start moving. If it does not, check the wire connections and try again. As you can see, bristlebots are a lot of fun. However, sometimes things don't work out the first time. So remember that part of being an engineer is solving problems. So maybe check your wires again, check your battery, or do some other checks with the directions to see if you can get your bristlebot to work. So, Mark and Jeff, what did you think of the bristlebot? Very cool. Super cute. Awesome. Do either of you work with robots? Uh, yes, I actually do uh, integrate. I put robots and screwdrivers and glue guns all together uh, to, to build other bigger things. That sounds pretty awesome. I've never met an engineer who actually builds and works with robots. They're pretty fun. <laughs> what about you? Mark, what, do you, what type of engineering do you do? I'm an industrial engineer. I get to work with Jeff on deciding how many robots we need and where they need to go in order to build the products that the robots create. That also sounds like a really important job. So, would you have any advice for kids or anyone else out there who is thinking about getting into engineering? I would say uh, do your homework, uh, be interested in math, and uh, be curious. Ask why things work the way they do. Interview with Jeff and ask lots of questions. It's the most important thing. Asking questions is a great way to learn things, that's for sure. Well, thank you, Mark and Jeff, for coming today. And thank you, everyone, for doing some bristlebats with us. And we hope to see you next time.